rolling? Okay. Um, it always amazes me that we'll have guys that have worked for us for years and will not know how to check the oil on our Honda pumps. So there's going to be a quick video on checking the oil on this. And we're going to talk a little bit about uh, how the low oil shutoff works on it. So zoom in here. So we've got two dipsticks on this. One of them is right here. Hey, Eric. Eric. Yeah. Can you grab me the base plate for this motor that's sitting over on that lift? So here's one of the dipsticks here. And it's uh, the whole dipstick is uh, hashed. It's not like your car where it shows a little spot. Basically, we want the oil level to be somewhere near the top of this. Um, but this has a nice long stick so you can kind of tell how much oil is in it. But for this to be full, the oil level should be right up here to the top. Okay, And you have to screw this in in order to get an accurate reading. If you only... Yeah, I can show the dipstick where it goes into the base. The base, the, the crankcase cover that's over there on the... Okay, so that's one place that there's a oil check. There's also one on the other side of this engine. So if you come around here, you'll see that we have the exact same thing right here. And by unscrewing this one, this one does not have a dipstick on it. You can swap them if you'd rather have the dipstick over here. You can just take the plugs out and move them to the other side. But this particular one doesn't have a dipstick, but the oil level should be right to the top until it's just running out of that. Okay. So I'm going to put this back on. And I've got an engine cover off right here that we can actually see the two dipstick points. So this is the crankcase and the oil level is supposed to be right here at this at this line. So when the oil is full, you can see right here is the dipstick that comes out of that crankcase and it's looking to measure the oil level right at this mark right here all the way over to the other side. So this can go in either side and measure where the oil level is. All right. So this engine also is equipped with a low oil shutoff. So if it senses that the oil level gets too low, it will send a electrical impulse through this wire right here that goes in the side of the crankcase. See if you can get a shot where you can see that. This wire right here that goes through the side of the crankcase and into the engine uh, goes to a low oil shutoff. And we actually have one of them apart right over here that we can look at. So right in here, this piece right here at the bottom of the crankcase, this back up a little bit. This is the cover that goes on here. Okay, that's the cover that goes over the engine. And you've got your oil level. So the oil level is supposed to be right about here. And that right there is a float that will sense, there's a wire that comes off from it right here. And that wire will sense how much oil is in this crankcase and it'll send an impulse out this plug right here on the side of the motor that we showed you before. This is the wire that goes right through the side of the case and goes to that float. So if the oil level gets too low, it will tell the engine to shut off and it'll, it'll cut off the spark, turn the engine off and the engine won't run. One of the common problems we have is when you go around a corner, if the oil level is low and the oil sloshes to one side, this sensor will sense that the engine's too low on oil. It'll shut the engine off uh, until you flatten it back out. And then commonly the guys will go out, start the engine back up. It runs fine when it's sitting flat. But every time you go around a corner and the oil floats away from this, it shuts the engine off. That's a sign that the engine is low on oil. Or it can be a sign that the engine's low on oil. Or it could be a sign that this float is bad. It could be a number of things. But the one thing you definitely want to check first is that you've got enough oil in it. Um, in the event that there's a problem with this float, you can make the engine run by just simply unplugging this wire that goes to the float. Shine her back over here. If you just simply pull this wire apart and unplug it, the engine will run uh, in the absence of the float signal. The problem with that is, is if you do run the engine low on oil, you'll blow the engine up. So you really don't want to be unplugging that wire and running the engine long term, but it does give you a quick way to diagnose if that's in fact what uh, 
what's causing the issue or not. So, all right, that's how you check the oil, and that's information about the uh, low oil shutoff. You can stop it.